I started feeling like a little bit of a Sherlock Holmes experience uh, of taking what their symptom, what the symptoms are, and what stress patterns, which are the underlying stress patterns, would uh, would show up. What remedies would balance it? What each of those layers, and even what meridians. If the person came in in person, you know, was here in person, we could do the meridian testing. I would see uh, correlations there, start drawing correlations uh, that are a little bit out of the ordinary. And then studying the five phases of health and the five tissue layer, embryological tissue layers that create these systems, um, really start, that's when I really started to kind of pulling it together for myself as far as coaching people. Uh, taking the principles of healing, that healing basically goes from the top down. So a lot of, a lot of people come in here with brain issues, uh, nervous system issues, eye problems, um, hearing loss problems, things like that. They're up in the head, in the neck, cervical spine. Uh, there's a lot of that <clears throat> that we see. Shoulder injuries, jaw stuff, teeth, dental. And so as people get onto energetically balanced remedies, uh, there are times when it's a very clear pathway where symptoms start moving down through the body. You know, maybe they have started having a heart palpitation or a little aches and pains here and there that are lower down than the original uh, presenting symptoms. And uh, then we take what's in oriental medicine, uh, as far as uh, meridians going through different parts of the body that relate to a certain organ, certain body parts, like for the kidneys, kidneys are always a big one. Kidneys and liver um, are, are, and heart are three of the biggest ones that, that are like the basic underlying things. The kidneys get jammed up, the liver gets uh, inflamed and, and irritated. Because there are so many maps to the body, you know, there's reflexology of the hands, the feet, the ears, uh, and then there's the meridians and how they all uh, go through the different parts of the body. So when somebody's having uh, knee, knee issues, ear issues, and low back pain, it just instantly comes to my mind now to think kidneys. Okay, the kidneys, we know that in oriental medicine, knees and, and uh, ears relate to the kidneys. Uh, some parts of the eyes relate to the kidneys, but mainly with the eyes we think liver. The eyes and the liver have uh, a lot of connections. So uh, when we're dealing with people who have uh, blinding eye diseases and they would like to turn that around, whether they've had surgery uh, in the past or they're facing the potential of surgery uh, or they're, they're taking uh, some kind of eye drops for eye pressures or, uh, you know, cataract surgeries, most people don't want to go under the knife if, if they can possibly avoid it. Some people, it's nothing, but most people are, I and myself, I, I don't want to have my eyes cut into, if possible. And the, this, the eye drops for the eye pressures have a lot of side effects. People are not happy, usually. Some people are okay, but most people are not too happy with their, the eye drops that are supposed to drop their eye pressures. There's, side effects that are really unpleasant. So, uh, yeah, so healing, as I was saying, healing from the top down and from the core of the body out. So uh, a good example of this is, uh, you know, young children often will ha start off with uh, maybe some allergies, environmental allergies, pet allergies, food allergies, and uh, if treated uh, with suppressive medicine that's just to suppress the, rea the uh, immune system reaction, which is what an allergy is, um, <clears throat> then often that will drive the uh, toxin deeper into the body. Uh, and then we see things like asthma, um, blood pressure rising. Uh, after a lifetime of this, or you know, however old you are, your lifetime, 30 years, 40, 50 years of suppressive medicine, then uh, the, there's some functional things will shut down and uh, 
things like cancer, autoimmune, uh, we start seeing that kind of thing going on more. And so to heal that kind of, those kinds of deeper, more chronic degenerative arthritis, more degenerative kinds of conditions, uh, we don't treat those conditions. We don't even treat allergies. We, we actually just assist the person in healing themselves. We call it accelerated self-healing. Dr. Glenn has really, he's a fantastic researcher. He has researched uh, some of the best technologies. And his focus really is, uh, is energy. That's our focus here, is dealing with the energetic uh, realm of, our, of, of, your, of your being, of your entity, of yourself. Because uh, that's the physics level of health, and that's where things change like that. Our diagnostic equipment and techniques are are primarily designed to deal with the physics so we can see what changes are going to happen uh, once the person gets on the program of what, what we see is recommended uh, and then the, the physiology will follow along after that. So core healing from the core out, sometimes an asthma will th uh, when a person is resolving some of these deeper issues uh, something like an asthma will then possibly end up with a skin rash or, or allergy symptoms before the whole thing can get resolved.